whoever would overthrow the liberty of a nation must begin by subduing freedom of speech. Without freedom of thought, there can be no such thing as wisdom, and no such thing as public liberty without freedom of speech. By liberty, I understand the power which every man has over his own actions, and his right to enjoy the fruits of his labor, art, and industry, as far as by it he hurts not the society or any members of it, by taking from any member, or by hindering him from enjoying what he himself enjoys. The fruits of a man's honest industry are the just rewards of it, ascertained to him by natural and eternal equity, as is his title to use them in the manner which he thinks fit, and thus, with the above limitations, every man is sole lord and arbiter of his own private actions and property. It is remarkable that men, when they differ in what they think considerable, will be apt to differ in almost everything else. Their difference begets contradiction, contradiction begets heat, heat quickly rises into resentment, rage and ill will. Thus they differ in affections as they differ in judgment. I will begin to speak when I have that to say, which had better not be unsaid. Consider it the greatest of all virtues to restrain the tongue. I know not what treason is, if sapping and betraying the liberties of people be not treason. Some have said that it is not the business of private men to meddle with government. A bold and dishonest saying, which is fit to come from no mouth but that of a tyrant or a slave. To say that private men have nothing to do with government is to say that private men have nothing to do with their own happiness or misery. That people ought not to concern themselves whether they be naked or clothed, fed or starved deceived or instructed, protected or destroyed. An honest man is seldom a vagrant. Consider in silence whatever anyone says. Speech both conceals and reveals the inner soul of man. In doing nothing, men learn to do evil. Speak briefly and to the point. Flee sloth, for the indolence of the soul is the decay of the body. Wise men are more dependent on fools than fools on wise men. The primary virtue is, hold your tongue. Who knows how to keep quiet is close to God. All have the gift of speech, but few are possessed with wisdom. I would not be beholden to a tyrant for his acts of tyranny, for it is but usurpation in him to save, as their rightful lord, the lives of men over whom he has no title to reign. <laughs>